I remember Greg us sitting down over, it was only one or two beers, and they were definitely light beers, uh, about six years ago, and you told me you were retiring. Six years later, you're still winning downhill, you're still looking in the form of your life, still clearly having so much fun. Yeah, you know, it, it's hard. People always have this um, perception or this idea of when you need to retire in sport. And uh, I guess I played along for a little bit and then decided to make my own way. And, you know, I didn't feel like uh, I was ready to retire. And I signed a couple more years with the team I'm on. And uh, it's been great. I, I've, I've been enjoying the last couple of years of racing and then had a bit of success as well. You talk about just having fun, but you're also riding so well. Uh, are you taking yourself by surprise a little at how well you're doing at the moment? Not really, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I worked really hard this off season and uh, I feel like I've been kind of an unlucky in the World Cup season. You know, we had a few races I've been caught in the rain and, and mechanicals and, and my season's starting to take a bit of shape. And then I won the world champs. That was a bit of a surprise. You know, I, I was hoping to get a, at least a medal. To win it on that track is is really tough. I've never won in that venue before. And it's honestly the steepest, gnarliest track we race on. So that was a bit of a surprise. But being in the form I am, I, 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 I wouldn't say it is, is a surprise. You know, I've added an extra trainer into my um, training regime. And, and uh, yeah, I, I've worked pretty hard. So no, I'm not surprised. <laughs>